when I first started, I mean, this is, I'm dating myself seriously here. So programming, when I first started doing it in Bitspilani was with punch cards. Literally, I was least interested in it. Then we got like, you know, Pascal and Turbo Pascal on the PCs, didn't like it. I go to IDC and then, and then I start working on the Mac and I discovered this thing called HyperCard. I was off to the races and running because it changed the way we thought about code. And then when I finally read up about it, you know, there's this classic textbook, Donald Knuth's The Art of Computer Programming. And the way he talks about coding, and that was sort of the Bible for the longest time, is that you take a problem, you break it up into subsets and subsets. You don't write a line of code till you have broken the problem down completely through this sort of flowchart kind of a thing. And then you start writing the code. I clearly did not fit that. There is some research to show that women in particular got pushed out of computer science because they didn't code that way. That didn't come naturally to them. Sherry Turkle has written about it. There's another group of programmers who do what Sherry Turkle calls bricolage. They write some code, the code doesn't work. Then they write a little piece there, a little piece there. They have vaguely some idea about where this is going to end up. And the guy who created HyperCard, Bill Atkinson, that's how he talks about coding. And so to me, that's an aesthetic decision of style of how we approach the problem. Neither is wrong. And there's this book called Beautiful Code where they talk about ugly code and beautiful code and, you know, so on. So I think that if we bring that sort of an engineering aesthetic, which I think is important, I think coding takes it to the next level. Can I do the most with the least? Like I can use the least number of bits in order to do X. And I often joke that the Y2K problem was caused by that. Because I remember when I was in my computer science, you know, when I was doing this in my undergrad, at one point, there's this one guy who was our guru, who I would go to for coding advice. He looked at my code and said, see, you coded the date using like four digits, 1964. You don't need that. You just need 64. And that was a matter of pride because it's like with least amount of computing power we can get. <laughs> Except sitting in like 1984, we were not thinking 85 or 86. We were not thinking that the year 2000 would happen. You know, so I always joke that the Y2K was sort of a consequence of the engineering aesthetic of doing more with less. You know, because like that shows really cool, but I, I, I think that's a bit of an exaggeration, but you get the point. And so I think that, that again, in coding, if we bring that element in early on, like why is a certain solution more elegant or more parsimonious or, or more beautiful? I think it might appeal to certain people. I mean, I know my daughter, when she was in high school, I told her, take a programming class just because you should know something about what it is. She goes one day, she's like, I'm never doing this. Like, why? Papa, it's all boys and they are stupid and they crack stupid jokes. They have no whatever. And the teacher, the first thing the teacher does is shows us a video of somebody whacking a computer and says, this is how you're going to feel the rest of the semester. And then people are surprised that certain kids don't go to a computer science. My daughter now has a degree in business analytics and writes right. code for a living. I mean, yeah. she's writing code yeah. for me to clean up Zoom transcripts. In high school, it was just stomped out of her. She just didn't go. She's like, I'm not going to the classroom. It's a stupid, you know, male sort of whatever, stupid jokes, and the teacher is no better. And so I think that we are doing a disservice to the field. We are doing a disservice to the people who can succeed at that in ways. She has a very good visual sense, so she loves representing data and so on. That could have been nurtured much early on.